<laughs> ah, this is take number four. I hate this. I'm going to learn to be more brief and to the point. I can't call this thing Jesus Geek anymore because there's already a Jesus Geek on the internet and they're uh, way smarter than me and, you know, I can't compete with them. But Prometheus Studies is not taken. You want to know why it's called Prometheus Studies? Check out the blog, it's in the info section. Today we're going to talk about connectivity. You know, like organic chemistry. I know that's how I feel about organic chemistry. I have a test coming up on Tuesday and I'm not studying for it. I will study for it, don't worry. So, go ahead and Google the periodic table. I'll wait. Do, 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 do. Did you do it? Okay. Alrighty. So, periodic table. Look at one side and you'll notice there's a bunch of things we call non-metals. Li. Um, oops. No, I don't want to do fourth. Okay, we'll just leave that mistake in. There's a bunch of things called metals. Things like Li, Na, all those kind of things. That's lithium and sodium. On the other side of the periodic table, you have these things called O, F, that's oxygen, fluorine, Cl, all those kind of things. Those are the nonmetals. The nonmetals are very electron withdrawing. That means they are so close to having the special magic number, eight. And they're very close because they're just a few away. Like oxygen, she, this is oxygen, this is what she looks like. She has six valence electrons. She wants two more to make eight. Fluorine? Oh, she's even closer. Like, totally. On the other side, you got the metals. And they're not... They're close, but in the other way. They'll have, like... They'll have, like, one electron. How is that close? Well, because they can get rid of that electron, and the level below will have eight valence electrons. Now, the thing is... Nobody can reach stability, or their number of valence electrons, on their own. All atoms, and all people, are made with a little bit of imbalance. None of us can reach stability on our own, because none of us can, none of us has eight valence electrons already. None of us comes in perfect. But the thing is, on our own, if we were, if lithium were to just kick off an electron, well, then there'd be an imbalance of protons and electrons. So if lithium were to try to do it on its own, it would suddenly develop a charge, which is something you don't want to do if you're an atom. We, you, we could call it going crazy for people. So that's lesson number one. You can't be stable on your own. Now, then you might say, well, what about these guys at the very far end of the periodic table, you know, the guys beyond oxygen and fluorine, those guys, the halogens. Okay, so here's the thing about halogens. They have eight valence electrons, but they know they need, you know, they form connectivities too. They'll form connectivities with each other, they'll form bonds with other chemicals. In fact, they're crazy about the bond forming, because these guys, I mean, they, they're pretty confident. They know they've got their eight valence electrons, but that doesn't stop them from sometimes wanting to react with other people. They're not as reactive. So, if you know halogens, or if you are a halogen, don't fool yourself. You can react with other people, too. So that's lesson number one for connectivities. We were all, you know, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 4 that, what does it say? Well, it says that a cord of three strands is not easily broken. It's talking about friendships. It says, you know, two are better than one. When there's two, they can keep each other warm. God loves friendships, and... He shows us that in the chemical world. The chemicals need each other, and you need other people. Have a wonderful day. I will be back another day with more on this organic chemistry stuff, because that is only the beginning. I have so much more to say about it. <laughs> All right, have a great day. Bye.